we're going to welcome Julie. And while she's coming in, uh, for those that maybe are tuning into the lobby for the first time or seeing me for the first time, I have the honor and privilege of being the director of the Malala Adult Community Center. And there are hundreds of programs that we do at the center uh, throughout the year. But right now is energy assistance time. And so this is Julie. She is our amazing client service representative. And so she's actually processing these applications. And so thank you for being here to chat about yes. this program that I have just grown to love over the years because of what it does for people. So for those of us out there that have no idea what energy assistance is, the name might be a little deceiving. Maybe they're jumping to a conclusion. Uh, can you go just take us back to square one? What is energy assistance and who does it serve? Sure. So energy assistance is a program um, with different pots of money, different funds um, set aside for people who meet eligibility requirements um, to get assistance. Now this assistance can be electric assistance, it can be wood. You, you know, maybe you just have a wood stove and um, you, there are different places that allow the assistance to get wood. Yeah. Um, we've got pellets oil from you know if you have a local oil vendor that you use and you use oil heat it, it can really help with any of those types yeah that's yeah. beautiful and it you know like you said it covers all of the main sources of heating so whatever yeah. their main source of heat is um, their largest heating bill during this time where temperatures are dropping yeah. it, it meets them right there and takes care of them specifically yeah. for those that and it's a generous yeah. it's a generous program yeah. that's beautiful and so, yeah, yeah. So this year has been a tough year for many. I mean, we're, we're facing different things that none of us have walked through before with COVID. Um, I mean, there's, there's obviously people that maybe were supporting income in a household, you know, and they've been laid off or yeah. uh, lost their job. So what, what is unique for you about this program this year? Well, so this year, you know, I guess it really does give me an opportunity to thank you. Um, COVID has shut down so much in so many of our centers and our seniors are hurting and th you have found ways to make things happen. Just, I mean, for Meals on Wheels, getting that out to people, but also opening foot clinic and, and energy assistance is just, energy assistance is critical for some people that yeah. it's, it, it's, it makes a huge difference. And the county also actually um, gave us more applications this year so we could reach more people. I love that. And so I, I kind of like being interviewed today so I can <laughs> get the word out there too yeah. because there's mm. there's a, a certain group of folks that, that we can hit that will be eligible yeah. and they we really have an opportunity to help them. Yeah, we've definitely gotten creative at the Malala Adult Community Center <laughs> because we're one of 11 centers in Clackamas County and uh, most other centers aren't doing this program this year or uh, maybe they're just sending out applications by mail and you are able to safely uh, walk them through their applications and you know we're doing everything according to mandates <laughs> and whatnot um, but we're just we're taking that step because and we'll actually hear it in today's message as well you know the mission doesn't change right. just because we're in the middle of a pandemic we still are called to help and serve our seniors and vulnerable yeah. people so I love that you're you're partnering in that and doing that so it's great great kingdom work that we get to be a part of yeah. Uh, along those same lines of the kingdom work that this truly is, how would you say that you see God's presence in this program? Well, lots of our people have shared with me what it means to them. Mm -hmm. And for some people, it is the difference of picking up medications and sometimes even food. Yeah. And you think to yourself, those things are so important that you should never have to choose. Mm -hmm. And so thankfully, the you know the energy assistance program can give people assistance through those months that are really tough. Yeah, it's a costs a lot of money to do the the heating through the winter, and so they can still have the food that they need, mm -hmm. so that they can pick up their prescriptions or yeah. you know just whatever other important things that they need funds for. Yeah. This program is a vessel for God's provision. And I yeah. love you saying that because if you didn't hear Julie, she said that people are choosing between food or their electric bill. They're choosing between their medication, maybe life-sustaining medication or their electric bill. And that's where this program comes in 
it, it meets them right there in their desperate times and it fills the gap. And thank you for having such a heart for this. Um, your knowledge also and your experience of places that God took you in your past roles have been such a blessing because I've watched God work in amazing ways where you have this wisdom and knowledge of other ways they can save money or other resources that they yeah. can get. Well, so in being able to have an opportunity with them, I, I can hear some of their stories. So far this year, mm -hmm. we have a person who's very ill and didn't realize that he could get food stamps. The care savings program was. Yeah. That's 140 some odd dollars a month. Yeah. And so he, I helped him fill out the application and mm. sent it off to DHS. We have other people that are eligible for other things like yeah. that too. So I love that. You know, doing eligibility for the state before was very helpful. So yes. you can identify those. Yeah, things. that's beautiful, and it's it's just fun to witness. So I also, you know, we do hundreds of programs, and you're the client service rep for all of them. So whether it's energy assistance or it's a different resource that someone's needing, how do they get in contact with you? Oh, you can call me at the center at. Yes. 503-829-4214. Perfect. And I have my own line. You can leave me a message and I'll call you back. Or you can email me at client service. No no special characters. Client service at foothillsonline.com. Awesome. And Julie, I'll respond. Yes. Julie, thank you so much for being here. Yes. Great thank to learn you. about this program. Thank you. Thank Cecil. you.